Hi everyone, it's Ardith, and I'm here with a two-minute tip on the Ellen Hudson blog and YouTube channel. I recently got the Gemini Foil Press, and I've been having so much fun playing with it and learning how to use it. Today I thought I would try foiling on a panel that I had watercolored, so I'll quickly run through my very simple watercoloring process. I used the Altenew watercolors in a rainbow order on a piece of Ranger watercolor cardstock that I had taped to a board and then wet with clean water so that the colors could blend really well. I dried it completely with my WOW embossing heat gun and I took it off the board. Now I honestly thought that the panel was thoroughly dry, so I filmed the whole foiling process and this is what I got. I would say about half of it didn't stick. I think that the watercolor paper really wasn't dry. So I made another panel and I waited overnight and I started over and I refilmed. To start, I turned on the foil press using the power switch on the side. Then I powered it on with the button on the top. This gets the foil press preheating. It takes a couple of minutes to fully warm up and then it will beep and the green light will come on. I looked in the instruction booklet at the chart that tells you how long to heat the foiling plates. It's listed by the weight of your cardstock and the size of the foiling plates you're using, so I kind of estimated that I would use 20 seconds and I programmed the timer on the machine. Next, I laid the foiling plates on the foil press. Like Julie, I have a vellum template on top of the foil press so that I can easily visualize the card front as I position the foiling plates. If you don't get the foiling plates down quite right, don't pick them up with your fingers because they're already starting to get hot. The foil press comes with these really neat magnetic tweezers that pick up the foiling plate and then release it when you let the tweezers open. Next, put the plastic top plate on top of the hot foil press and let the timer count down. While we're waiting, I'll show you the silver shimmer foil I'm using. It's so pretty with a subtle iridescent sparkle that I thought would work perfectly with my rainbow panel. Okay. The timer's finished, so I took off the plastic top plate and I put the foil pretty face down onto the foiling plates, making sure that they were all covered. Then I placed my rainbow panel also face down over the foiling plates, using that template to make sure it was straight. I put the plastic top plate back on top and I pulled it straight back to remove it from the base. You don't want to twist this or you may damage the connectors. Then I just ran it through my Gemini Junior. Just like that, no other plates added to the sandwich. When it came through, I let it cool for a second and then I removed the foil sheet and the foil remained in the impressions of the two foiling plates that I had used. To finish the card, I trimmed the panel and popped it up on a white card base and then I added a few sparkling clear confetti sequins from Pretty Pink Posh for more sparkle. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for even more inspiration. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.